In this video, we'll go into more detail about undamped vibration. So if we have a mass on a spring system or any kind of system that we say is undamped, this means that the middle coefficient, the coefficient of the y prime term is zero. So in this case, our equation reduces to something of the form a y double prime plus c y equals zero because the b term is gone, it's zero. And a and c are both positive numbers. So what does that mean for our solution here? We can find the solution just by solving this out. The characteristic equation here is a r squared plus c equals zero, or r is plus or minus square root of c over a. The negative sign because it'll be minus c and move it over. So these are purely imaginary roots. There is no real part to these solutions. What does that mean? Well, it means if I label this with an omega, so we'll call this term, my general solution is y of t is c1 e to the 0 t, which is just 1, times cosine of omega t plus c2 sine of omega t. So there's no exponential term in the front of these solutions. What this means is that the solutions always will stay the same height forever. They will just oscillate up and down over and over again at the same height forever. An earlier video talked about combining trig functions, which means this is also something of the form r cosine of omega t minus phi for values of r and phi. You normally wouldn't write it this way until you've already found c1 and c2 and then can back out what r and phi are supposed to be. But the important thing here is this r. This r is going to tell us sort of the amplitude of this oscillation. It's going to tell us how big this oscillation is and how big it will stay forever. So with a system like this, we have some terms that are generally discussed about these solutions. First off, motion like this is generally called harmonic motion. A system like this where things oscillate forever and just sort of repeatedly over and over again, this is generally called harmonic motion. With this, we also have things like natural frequency, period, and a bunch of things to go with that. So natural frequency, this is the omega from above. This is the frequency at which this system oscillates. And related to that is the period, or how long it takes the thing to do one full cycle, which will be 2 pi divided by omega. If omega is 1, I have frequency of 1, my period is 2 pi, and this is how those things relate to each other. We have the shift, or the phase shift. This corresponds to the phi above. This is the sort of amount that it's off of a standard cosine function of shifts to the side. And then there's the amplitude. And this is the r from above. So for this motion, you can talk about its amplitude. How far does it oscillate with every swing back and forth? The frequency, how fast is it oscillating? The period, how long does it take for it to complete one oscillation? Those are sort of inversely related to each other. The phase shift is less discussed, but it's sort of just how off it is from being a standard sine or cosine function. The general approach to these sorts of problems will be to, if we're in this case, figure out C1 and C2 using the initial condition, and then go to find R to work it out from there. So we'd start by looking for these constants and then put this into the combined function form or mainly just find r because that's more interesting is the r as opposed to what the phi actually is for the phase shift. And for this case we actually find it directly it's root c1 squared plus c2 squared is what r ends up having to be to make this work. Then we have the amplitude, we have a pattern for how we frequency, we have a period, and then we can discuss whatever we want about this system based on this information that we've gotten from the equation here. Right, the key thing here is that there is no decay in time. And I'll put that out one more time. These solutions do not decay in time. And we'll see that as a strict contrast to any kind of damping where the solution ends up decaying away as time goes on. They retain their energy, they stay the same height forever, just oscillating up and down, up and down at the same heights forever and ever. That's looking at undamped equations, undamped systems, what they look like, how to analyze them, what kind of solutions we're gonna get, as well as how we can interpret this in a better way to be able to analyze the amplitude and how this behaves over time.